Hello, and welcome to Bullets and Milk, our Westworld after show. My name is Daniel, and to my right, I have... Hi, I'm Maverick. And Garcia. Joe. <laughs> Hi, Maverick Garcia. How are you? Hey, hey, I don't know. Maverick I didn't know, like, because we already talked about this. Like, if they forgot my last name. Well, well, well now we'll make sure. No one ever will. Yeah. I got to thank Maverick for getting this, this whatever it was stuck in my hand. <laughs> it was a splinter. What was that? Is that a splinter? Did you just... It was a thorn. It was actually a thorn. She's literally Dolores to you. Well, your... it was a thorn. They got So I reached my hand into, like, grabbing, like, in this weird, like, bush. But I didn't know how, like, there were thorns in there. I don't know. I dropped something in there, and I didn't. I wanted to throw it away. I just wanted to leave it. There. <laughs> were you spying on someone, and like there was yeah, a yeah. bush, like, like of flowers, <laughs> roses in no, front of a window, just, yeah, and you're I like, "Oh, my phone." <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she's Dolores to your teddy right now. She just saved you a little bit. You That's saved good. Me. Just a little bit. I mean, just, I, I don't think you could have nice died. Teddy. No, I Nor think do I think she's as nice as Dolores. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, jeez. Well, this is our Westworld after show. <laughs> we'll be discussing the show itself, going in depth concerning the characters, the plot, things of that nature, as well as, well, discussing your comments that you left with us. Also, anything else that we find that's interesting concerning the show. Um, you know what we should do, guys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Roll the clip. Some of them are remembering. Accessing fragments of previous builds. This is not a fucking glitch. There's something bigger going on. Okay. That's my, sh- that my shock look. <laughs> that was that was so good. Like honestly, so much happened in this episode. <laughs> like I can't even just the trailer itself. Just that little clip was like <gasps> edge of my seat. You know, the episode you, had a, you did have a good theory too. You want to tell everybody at home what your theory uh, was? Okay, guys. So I had, I, I had a you theory. thought it was a good theory. Okay. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? You no. didn't think it was a I good theory? It was. I didn't. I'll have you know that after I typed it in, oh, I went online. I'll have you know. I'll have you know right now. I went online and typed in just um, uh, "Man in Black" William, and so many people had like the same idea. It was all over Reddit and all this stuff. Just tell us your theory. And I was like, okay. So my theory is it was, was. essentially what? Was. What if? Uh, well, William could be the man in black. And William and Logan's storyline was essentially a flashback. We know that J.J. Abrams likes to do them. Uh, and in this way, it was going to be a flashback without the idea of a flashback, without that rushing sound or something that let us know it was a flashback. So kind of a way to fool us in a way. And essentially, we'd see William coming to the park, putting on the white hat, and then through time, seeing him start to falter his fall. His, oh, his fall from grace, and become what we now know as the man in black. It would have been interesting. It would have been great to see. I mean, essentially falling in love with her, and then from falling in love with Dolores to doing something wrong where he had to have her remember him again. So, and, I mean, pretty much it, you, what, you, what you said was uh, William. You think William is the man in black, but they're not doing, like, linear... Flashbacks, or not let it, not letting the audience know that these are flashbacks. Exactly. I thought it was a good theory. I thought it was really good, actually. Yeah, so did so did read it, but Maverick. When I told the theory, Maverick looked like, "Wow, well, you're an idiot." And then she just gave a nice smile about, it, like, "Oh, that's interesting." Not for me. That but was that's really interesting. A I, I, <laughs> so thinking outside of the box, that's for sure. So, yeah, and I'm just trying to. Well, I'm using the writer's brain. Here, here's Gosh. here's the thing, though. I think with that theory, uh, that there was a lot of good that came out of that. But obviously, we saw in this episode that's not happening. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Hmm. <laughs> so he was about- like, "Don't you be Dolores <laughs> I, I, coming out of that dark." Literally, literally at the very end, that ruined everything. But we'll get to that in just a moment. <laughs> Uh, let's actually start to break down the episode. I mean, we started off immediately with uh, Bernard and Dolores. As we do every episode. Every ep- which is something you pointed out. Which well, is, every, well, Dolores, every episode. I think. And Bernard, so far, talking yeah. to Bernard. The first yeah. episode, it's the voiceover. Oh, the breakdown, over. okay. The okay. second episode, it starts with him talking to her. It's, it's, almost like, it's almost like he's recapping, I think, it's like he's recapping the, all the things that are leading up to what we're going to experience in this episode. It's a, hmm. Everything that's happening in the beginning of the episode is a callback to what happens at the end of the episode. For example, in the first episode, I said the word episode a lot, so forgive yeah, me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> in this first adventure, in the first adventure to Westworld we take, he says that she can't hurt a fly, and a fly's like on her, but he, she kills the fly at the end, yeah. like towards in the first episode. Uh, in this one, I don't remember what he exactly said, but he was pretty much telling her, like... 
It was pretty much alluding to the fact of like, I want you to go down this path of almost questioning what it is to be an AI. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And obviously now, I mean, at the end of the episode, it's very definitive what she does to start going away from the programming and the track that she has been on, I think. That's, I mean, that that actually sounds pretty well. I mean, we start <clears throat> off and he hands her Alice in Wonderland. But that wasn't, the, was that the first episode? Like, I thought that the first thing was him talking about, he just like, have you been telling other people these, like, um, our encounters, our meetings, and you you deleted the last uh, interactions that we've had, and mm-hmm. he was like, analysis. And then I think later I thought he brought in Alice. Was no, that, it was, well, it was all during that same conversation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But Alice in Wonderland is so fitting because yes. it's exactly. going down the rabbit hole, you know what I mean? And, like, I love Alice in Wonderland. I love um, I love the story. Uh, and and I feel like oh, Westworld, it's it's like a – it's not necessarily Alice in Wonderland, but we are going down that rabbit hole. We are. We are. And she asks, like, when she reads the line about uh, if she's changed, like, overnight, mm-hmm. you know, and it was just like, oh, wow, that's uh, – come on, guys. I mean, could we get any more fitting as far as using some bit of literature? Last time, I mean, we got Shakespeare. Now we have Alice in Wonderland. It's like, well, they like to use literature to point towards, like, hey, this is what's going to happen next. Kind of figure this I, out. I got a question for you, Maverick. You going into this in episode one, you were a fan of Dolores. You mm-hmm. liked where the character was. Do you, are you still, do you still feel the same way? Are you still Yeah, absolutely. Her? I think Kelly that... hates her, by the way. Really? <laughs> Kelly hates her. Why? Really? She did an episode one. We haven't talked since episode, no, episode two, maybe. Yeah. We haven't talked since then, but... She, she wasn't a fan of Dolores. Do you still like Dolores? You liked her in the beginning. You liked her story. You liked where she was going. You even said yourself, you would be a, you can see yourself as a host. That would be Dolores. Yeah, I, I still do. I think that um, as you see, like, she's got, like, depth to her. And, I, and like, she kind of, it's funny how when she's actually in Westworld and you see like this conflict with her and like it's an inner conflict and then when she's with Teddy how she describes like like she's like so like adamant about being free and it's like it's kind of whimsical but then when she's having these conversations with Bernard um like like I, I touched on this that the last week's episode I feel like now every time I said episode I'm, I'm logging what you said for, <laughs> I don't know why that's a weird word now um Every time that he'd give her a command, she acknowledged the command and then acknowledged that she did the command. Mm-hmm. And then at the last, um, the last one, which was like erase this from your memory, she acknowledged the command. But then he walked away, and she never acknowledged that she did the command. Oh, and I so, didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, and so and then like for instance, she's reading the book and the Alice in Wonderland, and then it brings about change. And then she asks this question, and he's like, "What what prompts you to ask this question?" and and she like gave her analysis of why she like why well naturally like this is how reasoning led me to do it like as a robot's like response mm-hmm. but i think that i feel like she's just so smart like she knows to say See? like she knows to say well this is what it logically it means but it lo- it like well, it touched her in another I, way here i have a question then yeah. do you think that the ai is getting smarter or somebody's actually programming programming them to have more free will. Do you think the AI is evolving, or do you think it's actually a, a program that's like, okay, you know what? Let's just see. I, both. I think. It's I both. believe they. It is. Let's just see how they evolve. I think that's actually the whole thing. Interesting. Because I mean, like <clears throat> you said, in one way, it's like she's playing a cat and mouse game with Bernard, also, at moments where she did that, and mm-hmm. she was like, oh, well, okay, I'll acknowledge this, but I won't acknowledge the fact that I uh, just deleted it, but I'll say this is what you told me. I didn't mean I actually did it. I won't give you that confirmation. You know, And that was interesting. Another scene I really liked in this episode also was uh, the scene where she was with Teddy, mm-hmm. and she tells him, he says, you know, someday I'll, I'll uh, take you here or wherever, and she's like, wait, why someday? Because someday is something when people, it means never. She's and, also, oh, I wrote that down in my notes, um, <laughs> she, like, where it was like, oh, Teddy, like, still still playing good, like, still yeah. playing the game, and and he's doing what he knows to do, and, and to avert and to dive, like, get away from questions that aren't outside of his storyline, so he mm-hmm. says, someday, so, yeah. and it's to, like, help keep Doris here, keep Doris, and, and then, but Doris, who's evolving, Dolores. Do, I'm sorry, <laughs> Dolores, who is um, evolving, like, it triggers to her, like, oh, no, like, this is a red flag, something. It's interesting, too, because Teddy, I feel so bad for the guy. 
<laughs> Teddy. He's like, you, Daniel calls him, what did you call him? Teddy is a bullet sponge. He is bullet literally sponge. a bullet magnet. No matter what happens, every episode, Teddy walks into a room, hey guys, what's going on? Bang, bang, bang. He's dead. I, I <laughs> or in this one, look, suppo- oh my I'm gosh, trying. instead of getting shot this time, it was <laughs> yeah, even, he is now the Kenny of this show. Like, oh yeah, every that's a good time. Every episode he dies, every like, episode. how's Teddy gonna die this episode? Yeah, yeah. We should make that a game. How do you think Teddy's <laughs> gonna, gonna die, die this episode? episode. <laughs> Oh, that's a good Sorry. one. I interrupted you, so you were oh, saying... Oh, I don't remember what I was saying. You oh, the, said, the whole, yeah, the yeah. whole scene. I, I, I think it was interesting because it showed the... She's full, she's thinking now. She's like, no, let's go Let's go now. Yeah. This isn't the Dolores, the same program Dolores that was just oh, no. going along with her script. Mm-hmm. She's going off script now. She's... I think she wants to explore the world, or at least Westworld, hmm. Um and see what else is out there. And Teddy's so oblivious. Poor Teddy. Because it's like, then he has to be reprogrammed. And, and uh, Ford, Anthony Hopkins' character, yeah. is pretty much telling him, do you remember why? And like pretty much giving him, like, hey, Teddy, we pretty much never gave you a backstory. Yeah, yeah. well, here so, goes one now. <laughs> no, yeah, your, your, your own sole one. purpose is to be the gunslinger that has the, the, the rancher's girlfriend, or the rancher's daughter. Yeah. And their whole uh, guest's obstacle is to, you know, beat you to do whatever with her. And it's... Yeah. Now Teddy has a centric role, and I also like so the, much more. Tandy Newton's character in the bar. The the uh, what's her name? Maeve. 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 Yes. That she got a flashback too when she was sitting next to Teddy. Yeah. Right from la- from last week that's with right. him yeah. dead in the little like mm-hmm. box of in the dead people. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. So it's interesting to see where this is all like going. At least with Teddy, it is interesting. But the thing is, it all stems once again. The epicenter is Dolores. And with that, her and Bernard, I, I have the question, I wonder, how many times have they had these conversations? Do they have them every day? Because, I mean, we've only seen three episodes, and every episode, he's having that meeting. Oh, I have a theory. Because this is a good point, because you uh-huh. brought up Bernard and Dolores. And right? Maverick, as we were, when we were watching the show, Maverick said, hey, or maybe it was you, Daniel, I don't remember, it was one of the two of you. It's only three of us here. <laughs> Josh. But, like, it was one of you guys where you guys said, you know, I... Uh, when she had the gun and was looking in the mirror, uh, yes. um, it was a flashback to the man in black, and then she, we got back to the scene. She op- opened the, the drawer, and the gun's not there. Yeah. Now, my uh, do you guys think that it's possible that she has that flashback because those are the times where she's talking to Bernard, and those are th- things that she's remembering from her conversations with Bernard, like almost like blacking out, and then going back, they're putting her, Bernard's putting her back in that in spot where she's like, oh, maybe this isn't supposed to be here. Right, putting her back in her loop. Putting her back in her loop. I think it's something close to that. It's almost like um, if I'm a hypnotist and you're doing something and there's something that happens and you remember, like all of a sudden you go into this other thing that I had you do. It Literally, it's it's like that. She's doing this and all of a sudden she has a flashback and during that flashback, like you said, that's when she's taken away. But I think when she's taken away, what happens with that gun? It was like somebody planted there. it there. Well, she takes the gun out because she. Put I mean, it I'm there. sorry, in the hay. Yeah, someone That's, planted it there, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she had a blackout, and then all of a sudden, you know, later we get to that. But yeah. I'm wondering what happened there, and that could be the case. She gets pulled away out of her loop at that moment, and then put right back in. Yeah. I mean, I, I wonder. No, I don't know. I you're saying like uh, that. So you're saying like where there it seems to be holes where she kind of has these moments and then she comes back in. You're saying those are the moments that we're seeing Bernard pull her out. Kinda. Like, they're, they're like, cut points of, like, hmm. okay, I, this is a moment. I'm going to stop Dolores right here, pull her out, and they're going to have their talk, and she gets, like, a flash. Maybe, obviously, the, it triggers it through the looking in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, or at least we think as an audience. But maybe it's more of, like, she ha- she's having these kind of, like, conversations that are dragging up these memories. And do you think... <clears throat> so well, now that it's being paused, that means that someone's watching her. Like, yes. the, the puppeteer is... Hmm watching her mm-hmm. and so he's pausing this I game think. and then listen like i could be wrong well i could be wrong you know what i i feel they gave them because they said earlier at least says uh they don't have nightmares what they have oh, well yeah. they don't have like dreams they have nightmares it's it's their way to cope in a way like we have dreams sometimes to cope with things that are happening like something that could be happening our brain may work in a particular way to help us get there like okay Traumatic incidents, you know, people will block them out or they may actually forget. They have a dream that kind of fills in holes, something like that. For her, at that moment, 
since she's supposed to forget the conversation she has, instead it's filled in that's with what the I, that's what I yeah that's what I'm saying yeah, yeah. exactly so instead mm-hmm. it's filled in with the drink yeah like, I also think like another maybe another point of this is that in last week's episode the man in black says to the father and the daughter like no I you are most real when you are suffering the most that's mm-hmm. whenever I get you at your most real oh yeah he said and, that to Lawrence to who? Morris. that's the guy where it was the father and the daughter oh, oh, oh okay town. okay yeah um and then, so then, like, obviously it jogs your memory about, like, so now he's pulling her into the, it shows you little flashbacks of her being pulled into the um, the barn. And so it's kind of like, these are moments, or, or maybe even, like, the Man of Black is conditioning Dolores, showing her, like, how at these moments, like, what to do to fight back. Thank you. I agree with <laughs> but you. But I didn't, I still don't think. Thank you for finally being on my side with my a theory from episode I didn't, one. I mean, it's not this, well, I you think kind that you're. Of agreed. I, well, she, I said that, like, she, I don't know that his motive is the same as yours. I think that he's she's the one that's been here since the beginning. Right. So he, of course, is going to induce suffering to her so that she is at her most real so he can get the information from her or to condition her to unleash again so this... You kind of agreed with me. This anarchy, <laughs> yeah. But this is, then this was my theory, though, now, was that now the, ep, the um, this week's episode introduces a partner to Ford, Arnold. And so, and my thought process was, at first she said he died within the, within Hold on, save that. Save that to, it, to the end of okay. the Okay, well, okay, well, okay, so sorry, so sorry. So sorry. Gonna, trust me, y'all. Uh, okay. yeah. but I think, I, I, I know where you're going with that, mm-hmm. but I do think that, see, all right, let mm-hmm. me address one, I got a, we got a comment in one of the, in the first week's episode. Yeah. That didn't agree with, with me, that said that. <laughs> it was, like, how could he love her when he's raping her? Yeah, yeah. but here, here's the thing, though. Mm. I think it's, I don't want to say it's clear, because it's not, but. It doesn't seem like that's his intention is to rape her. It does not seem like that. And okay. I want you guys to notice something that when he's remembering, this is the man in black. When she's remembering um, uh, her flashback or whatever about the gun, he pulls it out. He pulls the gun out, and he says, um, he says something to the effect of like, let's let's get to know each other. Let's start from the beginning. It's not a gun. It's a knife. Oh, it's knife. knife. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Well, thanks, Maverick. For By the way, I'm going to slow down for a out. second. Shout out to Zachary Newman because you're the one that said that about the he did the he rape said, the... he rapes her. But right? it's not how in any way does he love her? He skins and kills people. He's not a protagonist. That's what he said. Well, that's what Zachary did say. Thank look, you for that, Zachary. So I then we saw it. the second episode. I think people's mind like it's a different. Oh, His storyline is, is, is it it's, it's starting to become. I don't think it's 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 still shrouded in mystery but it's mm-hmm. becoming more clear yeah yeah I, I also think um a back back to that like in the conditioning thing you know teddy takes dolores out to shoot show her how to shoot a gun and she's mm-hmm. like oh, yeah, she says great. i can't and he's just like you know some people weren't made but i teddy always the company man right? I know. Like, always, some like... people aren't meant to pull sugar but i think sure. i see her more as saying like like no like i physically i can't no that's what i thought yeah too. yeah mm-hmm. and so and it's like again back to her programming, and then I think when we see whenever she shoots the the other mm-hmm. host, that like she's re- like that's when now all these glitches and things are happening is because she just overrided her program. And well, she look, pulled the trigger. I mean the first yeah. episode again, like she they say Dolores can't hurt a fly, she yeah. kills a fly. The second episode, or or at least now in the third episode, we get to see her like I can't pull a trigger. She, then look what happens at the end yeah, of the show, right. like she mm-hmm. kills a dude mm-hmm. or kills an, another AI. Right. But now we know Dolores can do harm. And it's 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 definitely not the directive of what her care at least with the script uh, programming says, mm-hmm. right? As far as yeah, what they have for narrative and uh, just programming itself. I got a question for you actually, because okay. I asked Maverick this already, so I'm curious what, what your answer is. Okay. Uh, so, what character do you most identify with? Man, right now, honestly, funny enough, uh, William. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I would go there, and I'm not, I, I'm not automatically like, oh yeah, let's uh, debauchery. Woo! That's what I came here to do. No, I wanna, I wanna enjoy myself. I wanna have a fun time, but I don't wanna be that guy that's automatically like, all right, here I come and bang bang, shoot him up. Yeah, like, I don't wanna bang bang glug glug. Do you say that <laughs> in every one of our commentaries? I do actually. I say bang bang glug glug because that's gonna be my thing now. Okay, like, I thought what? you said bang bang shoot him up. I feel like I, oh, this is. Like <laughs> I think a thing. I did actually. I think <laughs> I did. Deja vu. I said, this is. Oh my god. It's 
it's a loop. It's a loop. We're in it. It's That's interesting. It. <laughs> so William's the character, huh? Yeah. Actually, funny enough, uh, I wanted to really discuss a little bit more about William. Let's do so. Because <laughs> this is the place we to saw, do. <laughs> <laughs> we saw William get shot, and yes. well, at least now this is the thing. This is the thing that I have. Where okay, he sees he sees this guy come out, and you know, it's uh, he sees this outlaw get caught, and the guy's gonna get his bounty, and then you know, everything happens. Um, he gets shot, and you see him get hit and spin and fall. And I was like, oh, my gosh. No. So, wait, wait. So, was that guy a host, too? And wait, Is this happening? Is this happening? And then he gets up, and you realize, okay, he's not uh, he's not really hurt or, well, mortally wounded. Right. You know? And he gets up, and he tells, his, he tells Logan, like, oh, man, I thought, you know, I can. My question is, if he gets hurt when he gets shot, Freaking the man in, in black. black. What's I going on there? Too. I honestly like, think is he just like maybe he's just numb? immune to it. Like at this point, because he's been there. I don't mm-hmm. think he's ever left. But here's the thing, though. Here's the here's the the curious thing about him, the man in black specifically. In episode mm-hmm. two, they know that he's there. Yeah. So yeah. that must mean that they know that there's a person that bought this. Unless it's just some random people that caught him. Like they know who he is. They know who's coming into their park. Mm-hmm. So they should know who he is. Unless he did it under false pretense, false identity? I think they know who he is because when um, when they did and they're looking through and somebody sees what's happening, they're like, uh, they lean over to Shelby Helmsworth and <laughs> they lean over to Shelby and they're like, hey, Luke Helmsworth, something's yeah. happening. Yeah, and they're like, hey, something's happening. This guy just mowed down like a, a whole uh, bunch of people and he's doing it. And the Shelby looks over to see exactly who he's talking about. He looks first, you see that recognition, and he says, that guy can do whatever he wants. He, and then he paid he his got, money, that guy can yeah, do whatever he wants. Yeah, that guy paid money, he can do whatever he wants. He just gave him that car launch right there, and I'm wondering as to why. Like, but I didn't think I didn't think he recognized him. I was like, oh, that guy, he can do whatever he wants. No? I, yeah, I didn't think so there was... So you think it was just, well, then why even lean over and, uh, oh, that guy paid his money, he can do whatever he wants. Like, what's the point of even doing that? I well, mean, you I know th- he's a guest. Well, maybe that's exactly, it's the Disneyland thing, that, like at Disneyland. I don't know if there's pulling the curtain behind Disneyland. I know a few people that work there. And it's that if anything goes wrong in the park, mm-hmm. it's never the guest's fault. It's always yeah, the it's host's always fault. Yeah, it's always the host's fault, right. Or I guess this host. Yeah, no, or, same thing. They're, yeah, they're, they're considered thing, yeah. cast members, but essentially hosts. I get it. Um, so maybe it's like that same kind of theory mm-hmm. of like, you already paid your 40 k for the day? Do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what they're there for. There's, uh, well, and I mean, and your theory may be right, but as far as the acting and the directing of it, I don't think that he gave it any cue that man, he recognized Maverick, that. Maverick, you're the man in black shooting down our <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Hey, guys, well, this is what I thought. Shut up, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all day. I'm just like, oh. Shooting those things. Oh, that's sorry. why she's in the middle, though, because it does help. So this way yes. it's like if we do say something, Maverick's like, I'll tell you why that's wrong. <laughs> and I do appreciate that. We need someone that does, uh, you know. We, we need, you know, skeptic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so following along with what you said, mm-hmm. and also with what you said, it, I that that has also been my question from from the first time that we ever did this was that right. how are these people like the first time that the man in black dragged off the the poker dealer oh, from the yeah. saloon? You, you're wondering like how is nobody Wait, wrecked? You don't remember that, like you the guy remember? that he scalped from the first episode. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're and, and in my head, like these people are watching. Like even in this episode, you see an alert saying there's a rogue um, host. He's going off. We have to go catch him. Like it so was astray. Astray. And astray. these people are are watching and and they're familiar when things go wrong. There's there's systems of alert. And so at first, it's kind of like in my head, like how are they not noticing whenever one of these hosts is gone or or that they're not having to replace them? That someone's not going up to pick up this body. Um, mm. Like why? It does seem like why is there not enough eyes on the man in black? Sure. And so, like, that brief time that he shows up in question to Allison, I think Allison is the one that finds him. She's like, hey, this guy just um, knocked out five guys. Do we want to, you know, restrain him back or whatever? Mm -hmm. Um, And then, like, and then it's – and so on. It goes on. And so, like, my only thought is the only reason why people aren't maybe recognizing him is that you you talk about even Bernard. He's like – I've only been here the last 10 years. Right. And so, right. like, maybe it's just so only? many... New... That's a long time, Bernard. I mean, like... But he said it in comparison to I'm saying, to but then this... then, yeah. But the Man of Black has been there for 30 years, so maybe there's just so many new employees now that they don't even recognize this man as someone that's come in or come out. Like, sure. he's been in there for so long. Um, so it, there is something Ooh. along something along that line, but at the same time, it's still that eerie question of how is nobody watching this man and what's you happening? You know, it's so funny that 
This is episode three, and there was very minimal Men in Black. It was literally in flashbacks or like in, yeah. in Dolores' vision. I think, what an intriguing character that we're still talking about him. And he's in, he has maybe four minutes, two minutes of screen time. Dude, that's six yeah. minutes. Yeah. That's crazy. But it's great because, I mean, think about it. He's, he's definitely intriguing. We haven't given him an actual name. And he's just the man of black for This is a J.J. Abrams, I don't, I don't know, it's a Damon Lindelof thing where he did that in Lost as well. That's right. Lost, Maverick. That's right, Lost. Um, <laughs> Hadn't seen it yet. The, <laughs> the interesting thing, too, about this episode to me, overall, was you're starting to really see... And I really am curious about Maeve's character because I want to see what she really does remember. And it's funny because Daniel told me his theory at the beginning of the episode. Right. And I was and I was thinking like, oh wow, I actually think it's all lining up until we got to the yeah, end. Yeah, until we got to the end. Unfortunately, I mean, finding out more about Maeve would be cool. But one thing that we did find out more about was Teddy. Yes, yeah, they Teddy do. sits down well, that's with cra- Ford. Well, <laughs> the, the, the episode it almost seemed like two episodes, like a, the Teddy centric okay, episode, and then yeah. everything else. Thank you. And, and that's ben, right. And Bernard got a little bit more of a backstory too with his son. Oh yeah. yeah. Which this was one of my, I I guess not a theory, but something else that brought up about Dolores' character and how she says, like she acknowledges the command, but then how Ford says, I know that your son is still waited on you. And it's kind of like, how would he know that? Because Bernard gives no one but Dolores Mm -hmm. intel. And of course, I'm guessing his former wife. But then again, remember Ford is his boss. Ford knows. Ford reads people's minds. I think that maybe. Ford is prying into Dolores or somehow like getting the information Dolores is telling Ford maybe something like that it seems like maybe Ford is getting the information from Dolores because you see how so you're saying that Dolores could possibly be a double agent at in essence for Ford from Bernard I don't even know if it's if it's double agent or not I think um it's just like what she knows like it goes back to like being programming Ford is at the top and he's the one that like knows like the secret locks and buttons to push and so yeah. that makes sense if you think about it I mean Ford Ford owns runs and operates everything mm-hmm. why wouldn't he know every backdoor programming or anything that happens inside of his own park it's true and then as he also says like don't make the same mistake as Arnold and think that these people are real so well, you know, and then, then then Bernard comes back in and he goes, you, you haven't been telling anybody these stories, like, that I've been telling you, right? And he's like, what's your last memory? Like, log them down. Analysis. Like, what did you, how many times have you been rebooted? She's like, three check. times yeah, this time. You know, like, so, I don't know. He's that's trying to check. Uh, yeah, he's trying to check. Think but think about, about it. Ford, Ford, no matter what, Ford has a master key. So, even though he's trying to check, Ford can have something that's written well, in back script that no one would know. Yeah, you're right. Well, what do you think happened to uh, Bernard's... Uh, son. Son. It seems as though he had like a terminal illness. Or is that what you think? Yeah, he was um, like he had he looked very sick around his eyes. And then like there were people that were coming in and he was he had like I feel like mon- some type of medical, maybe like breathing. The de- breathing. Uh, yeah. Like the, and there were people around him. So I, I don't know why I think this, but I think that maybe because they do allude to one person's ever died in the park. And what if it was his son? Well, I mean, Ford did say... But he uh, said that Arnold, Arnold died, died, died in, the in the park, so... Oh, I guess that's true. But was he, he was referring to Arnold or a guest? Because he said one guest died in that park. Oh, did he? Yeah, that was, was in a previous episode. Jeez. I just Baffling think... here on the West But they make it... All, I mean, obviously, but then they also suggest in this episode that the boy dies right there on that, on that yeah, bed. In, oh, in that's that, true. In yeah, in the house. So I'm thinking... Uh, Fact checker, you should work terminal... for politicians, man. <laughs> Maybe. I'm thinking terminal illness, and uh, it, it is interesting still dealing with Ford, bringing it back, Ford and Teddy, um, that interaction, what they had when he starts to tell him that, well, you don't have a backstory, and that's interesting. We just and gave then, you guilt. That was great. That was great, and then literally he tells him, like, well, now you have one. And yeah, like his him approach down. to this was, like, from the first time whenever he was, like, having a drink with an old, you know, like, he, like, it seems yeah. as he loves them, he appreciates them, he's like, I made a mistake, I wanted to make them, like, have a sub-thought, reveries, and, um... And then, like, he's just kind of attacking Teddy. He's like, you know why? Thank because you. you don't have one. And then he walks up to the other guy. He's like, why did you cover him up? Do you think it would embarass him? It's like, you know, and he's like, these people don't know how to feel anything. And he cuts them. 
And and so it was just like, wow, Ford, you having a bad day? Because he did approach yeah. the way he approached, uh, the way Ford approaches Teddy. It's just, it is like he's going for the juggler. Mm-hmm. It's cold. It's it's like almost like he's a machine himself in the way he does it. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried about your feelings. I'm not worried about anything. Like maybe the and coworker just didn't want to see the man naked. <laughs> what did you, what did you, <laughs> you say? Yeah, so maybe he didn't want his fawns in his face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did say. I love it. I love well, what it. If, do you think that uh, with Wyatt's backstory, because he was yeah. saying Wyatt, Wyatt came back. Wyatt. And he was saying some pretty weird things. Oh boy! Now, with that saying some pretty weird things, does that allude to the fact of like saying some pretty weird things? Like we know that Dolores and uh, Dolores's father, the first father, what was his first father's name? Uh, Peter. Peter uh, had Peter Abernathy. Pete, thank Boom. you. Fact check. <laughs> I was just fact check. Guys. Hey, well, thank good. Hashtag bullets and milk, Maverick fact checker, <laughs> and woman in black shooting down our. Camera. Continue, continue. <laughs> um. I don't remember what I was saying. So, yeah, uh, do you think that, that it's possible that the saying weird things line is alluding to the fact of all these other things that are happening with the host? Yes, but then also Ford, when talking to Bernard and talking about Arnold, he said he drew it up as a triangle. Uh-huh. And he talked about all these mm-hmm. levels. And at the top level, he said that um, that there were going to be two different people. And I can't remember what the other one was, but I do know that the the uh, one of the sides was that, that they were gods being spoken into, like, yes. their heads. Yeah. Um, and giving them these thoughts and these voices. And... Um, and and it, and it did it, wrote, it jogged my memory and I was like oh Teddy was describing Wyatt saying that he felt like he was God spoke to him yep and so it was interesting because I was just like in my head I was like so did did Ford just program a, not a new memory but a, a prior existing character into that's what Teddy's. I'm thinking yeah. Yeah. that's what I'm thinking See, yeah and that that could be the case because it. That wouldn't throw anything off as far as what's happening with the story if he did. And I think that's exactly what he did. I think Ford was just, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a pre-existing character and it's going to be your story. But I wonder what ramifications that will lead to later. Oh, we're going to find out. I mean, (laughs) but it was was weird. And speaking about what's weird, we have Elise uh, having to go pretty much with uh, Stubbs and find the stray. Yeah. <laughs> Alice? Uh, oh, it's Elise. Oh, my That's God. why I was like, ooh. Elise. <laughs> Which, was... yeah. And on that one, that was like in my notes. I was like, you know, she, he, go, he, uh, Stud makes the, the request for him, for her to put him in sleep mode. I was like, why don't you just put him in sleep mode so you don't have to track him down to begin with? Like, Thank what? you. That's why I didn't understand uh, why but she that's, I think that's just like cinema. Like the doctor says I think that's in direct. last week's episode. I thought you put him in sleep mode. And he's going, and, the, and she has her knife. And, this is her fucking sleep <laughs> mode. Well, <laughs> the, exact her, yeah. well, you're true, and she did wake herself up. But, I mean, <laughs> with the stray at first. Does that look like <laughs> fucking sleep mode? That's exactly what he said. But I wa- also, and I then the stray if, wakes himself up as well. But I'm just saying, like, they never said they put him in sleep Dude, that was such a creepy mode. moment, too. Oh, boy. With that mm-hmm. stray. I, I thought it was really cool. It was um, like another zombie kind But of I'm thing. curious oh. about Elise's character because that ties into... Like, she's exchanging a lot of information with Bernard. So do you think Elise is uh, on to Bernard? Yes, for sure. She, I mean, she says, like, um, like whenever she was pulling the, um, like, that's how we first found out about Arnold. And then it's almost like everybody's on to everybody. Everybody's oh, yeah. got their own agenda, yeah. which is, like, that's how characters work. But Elise is on to Bernard. Bernard is on to Ford. But then Ford is kind of back on to Bernard. Yeah. It's, it's a weird a circle of uh, hosts yeah. of AI. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, but for, guests. yeah, it's guests and hosts yeah. all together. It's a weird circle going around and around and around until we don't know what's going to happen. But Elise has her interaction and figures out, okay, well, let's go ahead and hunt down the stray. So <laughs> before we get to see the stray, which is at the moment where we all freak out because that was... That was wicked scary. It was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, girl can't pee in private. And right, oh, first of all, what girls do you know to pee in public? Wait, you're from Mississippi, so I, I know about, about peeing well, in a bush. Yes. Well, then, <laughs> yeah. well, then again, it's we're we're in Hollywood, guys. Let's uh, yeah. pull the curtain. She's back. in the west. A lot of There's people pee in, in. Be in the street in Hollywood. A lot of people do. If you come out of a club, oh, I'm so tired. That happens. Nah, never. You guys don't have, no? <laughs> you haven't seen people just no. in the street? Oh, you guys don't go to places. <laughs> Did clubs. you go I don't to? know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You were going somewhere with that. Um... Uh, oh, anyway, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, that, um, they 
uh, they go searching for the uh, stray, and they follow they follow him into a camp where he was with uh, other hosts. Yeah. And these hosts are in a loop. Mm-hmm. And she says they were in a well, loop. Well, they stopped. They were well, no, yeah, on repeat because they, they couldn't they go repeat. past it. They're like, yeah, are you going to they, they cook? Go right and... up to, yeah, they go right up to that point. They stop, and then essentially they start it over My again. favorite line is like, you couldn't program more of them to light a fire. <laughs> light a fire? <laughs> <laughs> It's true though. Stubbs yeah. is starting to like, be one was of the best. Only one, there was only one that would actually be able to handle the the axe. Act, yeah. 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 I'm saying Stubbs, or I like to call him Stubby, is uh, starting to be my favorite right there. He always has great great lines. Mm-hmm. But uh, he also happened to know about uh, astrology because uh, she has that etching. She finds a stone with the etching, and I'm automatically like, well, what it's is a that? wood carving. It's oh, not it's a stone. wood carving. And okay. it's because that was one of another thing. Like, gosh, these. AIs like they like just keep like triggering them and like uh, building them to like have all these like different levels to them and modes to them and mm-hmm. she says like because he was like carving um, little bears and like he was a wood carver and, yeah. and he also makes a reference to like why would you give them that to do I can't I can't remember what was her reasoning and rationalizing for that um, but he was like well whatever it was he had a shaky hand he wasn't that good yeah, that's right and that's right. Um, so then she notices. The one, the one, now you got me saying stone, the one wood carving, which was kind of odd, and it had, yeah. like, an odd pattern on it. And then you see the ones that he did better, which was the bear, and then on the back of the bear it has the same star pattern, wood, and then that's yeah. whenever Stubb says that is looks like a... Orion. Uh, it, it looks like Orion. Mm-hmm. It's an astrological astro- She's astro- like, what are map. you, Galileo? Yeah. <laughs> And that was that was just like oh okay wow that level of just individuality when it came to this stray, it was interesting to see. And then later we see he he knows a whole lot more than he lets on. But more I guess than we won't know. The eye. Yeah, I guess we won't know because uh, <laughs> that poor stray, that poor stray. Uh, but then uh, Bernard, going back, we go right back into it. I, I've got to talk to him one more time because we mentioned. Walter and how it looks like he may be carrying oh, yeah, a grudge. That's so cool, right? So, so that's what one of the things that Elise had found. That's right. By I like going the, in the backstory. I love that though. That putting all this together, putting that puzzle piece together, that Walter seems like he's talking to a guy named Arnold, mm-hmm. and uh, he had six six people that he had hostage. Three of them he killed, yep. and three of them he let go. Yeah. And he said that the one thing that they all had in common is in past storylines they've all killed Walter, Walter. Walter. which and was. Really interesting, making yeah. it like he's holding a grudge. Mm-hmm. Super cool idea. I very, love that, that. That was smart. That was very smart. And then from that, it, it trickles Who's into Arnold? so many other things. It started to wonder who was Arnold. So then Bernard, of course, well, he was a, a former governor of California. Oh yes, he was. Named and, Schwarzenegger. And then from there, he which makes sense because yeah. we're in Westworld. We're yeah. in the so, West. Yeah. So then, sure. after being the governor, he shows up in Westworld and creates an amazing, amazing world. <laughs> And partners up with Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Anthony yeah. Hopkins, it was weird, you know, friends, yeah. Hollywood friends. No, but the things. cool thing is um, that we don't know who this Arnold guy is, so Bernard does confront mm-hmm. Ford. And mm-hmm. this is where things kind of get informational and intense at the same time. <laughs> I don't know how you can really do a scene with without being in, an intense scene with Anthony Hopkins. Like, no, there's no such thing. Just looking at him and it's like, the, yeah. dude. Yeah. I'd tell you whatever you needed to know, just don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And Silence then, of the Lambs. It, on you. Oh. Yeah. Well, he kind of looked like uh, Silence of the Lambs when we saw that flashback. Yeah. yeah. But Anthony Hopkins, uh, the man with a god complex, uh, pretty much has a brother. That's pretty much how you would say, it. like, oh, fake god has a brother, and his name is Arnold. And that's exactly his what we saw. His business partner. Yeah. And business it, partner, it, yeah. it was like, wow, to hear that. And then to know that it wasn't just him. And then he hints to Arnold. Wanting Dying. to give these guys well, a conscious well, first. Let's talk about oh, what he, what that's his true. role was yeah. in within Westworld. He essentially wanted to give them a conscious and a, well, a conscience, and essentially make them sentient. Yeah, which was uh, obviously something that we're kind of seeing now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and that's so interesting because. Later, it's it's uh, Ford oh, that I pretty can't. much created <gasps> Reverie. I, I had any, I had any, hold on. Ford, I don't know. He, Ford, I, have two things. I should write this down. <laughs> Ford pretty much goes ahead and makes uh, the Reveries, and but if you think about it, did we just get our theory at the same time? If it's the same if you, one, Matt, if you I think swear. about it, it's really it down. it's really Arnold that did the <clears throat> made the Reveries to begin with, and Ford pulls it out from wherever it was and. 
brings it out now again. So that's what I'm thinking is kind of interesting. But you had an, you had a thought. Do you want to say? Know. A thought like, or a theory? I, I maybe a theory. So I'm going to have to hold right, it. So that's hold why it I wrote it. That's why I wrote so, it down. Do you have a thought or a theory? I have a thought. So okay. um, I do have a theory though. It did formulate. So I'll, it's two mm-hmm. things. Okay. My thought though is um, Arnold's character. We haven't seen him yet. No. At least, well, we saw him in a picture, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right. But we haven't seen him uh, personally. I do th- like he, they do me- make mention the fact that he. Um, that uh, Ford pretty much erased him from history. Yes. And that's kind of like crazy yes. too because Ford has a lot of power, not just in actual Westworld, but everything that's going on around it. Yep. So. Well, he said that the people that were invested in Westworld started to pull him out business-wise. And he goes, and I and and I, and I, and I, and I didn't yeah. do anything to stop it. So. It's true. Right. So, but he was erased from history. I'm really curious to see. Because last week we did see Ford walking around Westworld. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. like, controlling things, like the snake. Yeah. And, like, doing the little, all these things. The little child version of he him. He has to know about some of the things that are happening, all the things that are mm-hmm. happening in yeah. this part. There, there isn't anything that's not that he doesn't know about. Right. So it, it's making me think, and this isn't a theory yet, but right. it is making me think that he's letting a lot of this stuff happen right now. Uh, he knows that a lot of things are happening, but he's letting a lot of it ha- kind of play out on his own. But why? That'll be that'll <laughs> be towards the end of the episode. I'll give you that theory. Okay. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can go with that. I can go with that. And how about seeing Anthony Hopkins as a young young sprite? You guys both. Man. You guys both like yeah. were like wh- like yeah. it was. A, God, that was yeah. some great like CGI. That was oh man. So yeah, that's great. like what all the Marvel movies are doing, like making young Michael Douglas. Yeah, young but Robert I mean, Jr. but this is this is an HBO show. I know their budget is about a million per episode. Oh, it's more not, than that. Blah, this blah, was blah. this. I think from what I read, I I heard that I could be wrong, and our producer could probably tell us uh, how much it was. But I heard the first episode's budget was was like a feature film, somewhere yeah. in the neighborhood of like hundred and fifty million dollars or something. I didn't hear that. I thought no, you said maybe that. 50 million. No, it was, he it was, was the one that talked about that. They said the it was uh, 2.5. Oh, 2.5? For the, for he, the first, he for the first Damn, episode. I'm something. completely wrong. $2.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong by a lot. <laughs> Cut that part out of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we can look that up. <laughs> we can look that up. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, producer Josh is looking, so we'll figure that out. Um, but so we go geez. from Ford talking about Arnold and who, his place and also giving a little bit more of information to Bernard. That's where the pyramid thing comes involved. That's also where he says he knows that Bernard's son's death is still weighing on him. Yeah, right? Oh, That's boy. kind of like a very, like, like a, hey, I know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. All right, information? Information. Joe was right. Uh, oh. Season one of Westworld cost $100 million. Right. Uh, the pilot cost a quarter of that budget, so that's $25, $25 million. $25 million. Which is five million so, more okay. than the Game of Thrones pilot. Twenty five million, That's not two point five. That's also partially due to reshoots. Twenty five million, not two point five. Twenty five million, <laughs> not two point five. But also, it go. did cost a hundred million for the whole season. For the whole season. That's a lot of money. Though. Jeez. It's cinematically. Yeah, but it is beautiful. It's a beautiful oh, show to watch. Man, um, yes. That's oh, my gosh. A, oh yeah, it's but here's great. the thing. The you know what? And, and obviously, we just saw the episode, so I'm sure that we'll go and dissect it again on our own. Yeah, true. And probably come back next week with some more stuff. But the thing is, like. There's so many things that are laid out in this show, just in general, oh, yeah. that you need to pay attention to. For example, like the music player, like the, re- the they do a lot of pop culture songs, and that has a lot to do with what the tone of the episode yeah. is going to be. Yeah. Um. I didn't. I didn't happen to catch the one. I don't know if you for this week I didn't. And if someone can still play the game of name that tune <laughs> and tell us what it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised you didn't know. Actually. I didn't. Usually, this time, really usually yeah, like yeah. last week I was able to find that song. And you had one, radio. Uh, it, uh, it was, was uh, it Jessica's okay, Black Hole Sun. Guitar Hero? Yeah. yeah, Black Hole Sun. That, I mean, the music obviously plays a part of it, but every single thing does too. Like you said, that wood carving. Yeah. The, um, just, even the fact of like those guys standing around and, and obviously the, the stray, like why did the stray go off? Oh man! I mean, like, do we know? Because and that was something that Elise talked about. She was like, and she calls Bernard. She says, "It's as if he had an idea," and yeah. like she's going back and touching on all these things that are like happening. And you see it happening within Dolores, and you see it happening within this ripple effect of people having um, tapping into their to their subconsciouses or yeah. like their previous memories or whatever it is. Like he, she you're starting to see it kind of, like, unravel a little bit. Definitely. And, and I'm wondering, well, who whispered the the unlocking phrase to him? 
I just wonder. Because it seems like we, at least when people are going off script. Right, and, there was something that induced but the, that. But they also said that they're all the right. violent delights. Like all these people that are, um, are the people, the hosts that are kind of like lashing out are referring to Arnold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it, it said it said, uh, they said it Walter said and Walter Peter. and Peter right? both referred to it. But then, but with this one, so you think also? He well, I don't know because he didn't say anything, yeah. so he we can't. Kind of. And he bashes his head. Well, because when we finally marbles. do find him, yeah, exactly. When we finally do find him, uh, ooh, not in a good way. No, no. It's, but it's see, that was weird too because that's kind of like. <laughs> That stuff, that whole scene's kind of intercutting with what's going on with Teddy. So, Teddy goes on to an adventure, and um, uh, William goes. No, William doesn't go with him. It, what it, Teddy, Teddy has this like female sidekick. We'll it's say, like, yeah, yeah. She's 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 definitely a guest. Like yeah. they're both bounty she's hunters. She's like bounty hunters. Mynona. And and Wyatt's back. He's been introduced, and he and Teddy's got to go find him. Yeah. And so. Now they're on this chase to go. Yeah, because they want a sense. There was like that one guy where they stop. There's a, I don't, I don't. He's an unnamed uh, mm-hmm. character at this point. At least I don't know his name. Um, <laughs> where they stop him and they're they're gonna like they're pretty much gonna do something with Dolores. Yeah. And then they were like, you know what? Let's just go on this uh, adventure. Well, Re- Rebus was there with um, yeah. them. So yeah, yeah. And let's go on this other adventure. They go on this adventure with Teddy. Mm-hmm. Because and... Teddy's that kind of guy. He'll take you out there and. Uh, <laughs> Get you mixed up in some things. <laughs> but he finally does find Wyatt. And when he does... Or does he, Or no, though? Wyatt technically, I, we, we think, kind of finds him. Well, or somebody finds and, him. And, and like, this is where the introduction thing. of... We thought... I was like, oh my gosh, it's your Anastasia. Yeah, okay, in thank the you. West World. <laughs> I just heard... And I was like, is that a, is that a Spoiler T-Rex? Spoiler alert, there are going to be T-Rexes in Westworld. Dude, well, I mean, okay. once again, I'm like, it's kind of... And unfortunately, you don't know about this. Kind of connected to Lost. Uh, remember, first oh, time... Oh, don't ruin we, it for her. It's, but it's on the first episode. First You're going to watch the first Lost. Episode. I almost guarantee you'll watch we Lost. Hear, uh, we hear something like a, a T-Rex roar on the very first episode when the plane crashes. And there is a the character site. in that show named, called The Man in Black. There is also, yeah. It also has anyway, watch it. Just watch anyway it. we're on Westworld right okay, now. Okay, all right, fine, fine. But J.J. even produced the show, so... Okay. Yeah. So we're, right, at, a, so we're anyway. at a shooting. It seems like a shootout of some sort. And then um, now it's just Teddy... His the sheriff and his his bounty hunter sidekick yeah. woman. Because the other two guys are like, I didn't sign up for this. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? All right, goodbye. And he just ran. I told off. you should have done, yeah. yeah. done the riverboat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> told you we should have done the riverboat, and, and that would have been me. That would have. You think been I would have gotten you into that? Situation? I promise you, you no would have done it. Oh, really? Really? Nah. Oh my god. You think I would have got you guys? <laughs> no. Yeah, there, there are hashtag stories to be told. There are definitely like hashtag ad- stories to be told. I like adventure. But anyways, back to this. Yes. Uh, we. They run off, well, and they now run off, yeah. we're in the dark, and Teddy is still ch- uh, tracking down Wyatt, so we think. So he, he hands her the gun uh, and tells her to run off. He says, go, go. You know, remember, he hands her a, a handpiece, a side piece. Mm-hmm. He hands her the gun, tells her to run off. I don't know what happened to the sheriff at this moment. No, Did no, no, no. Um, they were like... <laughs> I was like... They were... I just know. The way that they were, like, crossing throughout the dark, she falls or trips for whatever said reason yeah, yeah. and, like, makes a noise. And the noise then triggers the sound again. Mm-hmm. And then the sheriff drops his lantern shade and then it shows the first savage looking I, person. Yeah, I, well not yeah. first. We did see these in last week's episode. But the way they were in this But now world? being introduced in Westworld. Yeah. They were introduced technically. Well in a flashback through Yeah, through uh, Maeve. Maeve. Yeah. And then remember at that moment see, it turned into is... the man in black. All right, so so it's... think about this for a second. Okay. We get we get these uh, natives or Braves, we'll call them right yeah, now. Yeah. Okay. They're they're in they're they they, they hunt down Maeve. Yes. In, in last week's episode, and we don't know what happens. No. It kind of fades to black. I mean, we do know that they have their stuff, and and she tries. Did she try to shoot him? Or, or well, she remember, it, beca- she it turns into and then he, he turns into the man in black. When remember, he enters the he, house, he's in the window. Yes, he turns it's, into it's the man the in brave, black. And then right when the what door I'm saying opens, is, it's we don't know black. what happens with those braves because she wakes up. Because she wakes up. Yeah. Now, what if we're seeing it from a different perspective? Where now we're going to see Teddy wake up and have like starting to get his memories. I would love to see that. Mm. I would love to see that. I mean, but... because this is also again so. Uh, sheriff's dead, lights, they find him, and then this is whenever Ted, like now they're starting to come out and. Um, Approach the the host Teddy and this other character, this woman character, and that's when he throws with the gun. He says, "Go, like I'll take care of it." And that's he's like, happens, and he's okay. circling the guys. He's like, "I'm not afraid of you guys, you know." And um, he's gonna fight him. And then they like 
he shoots all of them and they don't react. They- so so it, it's it, okay so do you think they're guests right so yes another i do because man he was yeah, you know teddy had his little speech and blah blah and you know because you know teddy now, thinks do you himself think i'm only gonna get killed by these bullets. guests are related in any way to the man in black I, here's my other thought though was that could yes or could they be guests because they obviously mm-hmm. they're not reacting to the um bullets the bullets, bullets. but also Ford is on this new agenda, and he's the one that, like, first associated and created these characters. There we go. And so I almost thought, like, well, or what if he, they're hosts that have been programmed not to react to gunshots? Like, to From not... other hosts. You oh, know what I mean? yeah. Like, it, I mean, I don't know, because it was so dark, Wait. and, like, so no, I can't... I don't get what you're saying. So, like, if... if what if they have to be a ghost tale? <laughs> right. I mean, just... If he... If, if Ford programmed in them to not recognize pain, to not recognize... So, like, they could... Oh, I see. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you, they could be shot just the way Walter was, like, shot, but he's drinking and he doesn't recognize he's been shot because you see the milk coming yeah, out of his... Yeah. So, that's what... At first, I was like, or... or I mean, very well, I'm pretty sure it's going to probably be more of their guest. Mm-hmm. It seems like that's going to... The way that this whole storyline is always, like, tripping me out and throwing me off. Yeah. Like that... Or it could be that Ford, like, again, programmed these new guests to not react to pain. Mm. New hosts to not react to pain. That's yeah, what you're thinking? Yeah. No, no, that's is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just clarifying. Yeah, yes, yes. And, then, and then, then they chop up poor Teddy. And... We don't know if they oh. chop him up, though. Well, I mean, they had the they, they had the axes and they were all circling and doing this. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, eh, we kind of know I will say, if Teddy now. did die of, uh, of, of being <laughs> chopped up... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Teddy does die all the time. Yeah. I mean, I would put it past I'm that looking, this happen. I want him to get blown up in a bomb in one episode. I think that, we'll like... We'll start doing that. Is we our, should actually... Our episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. At the... Next right. week, how's Teddy gonna die? That's right what in the I want to know. Below. Right in the yeah. comments below. I want to know. No, but moving on to this <laughs> Right. And so episode. now we're talking about they're pulling out the stray, mm-hmm. the stray that ran away, and you see, like... Like this odd anomaly, he wakes up from his sleep. His neck, like he's pretty much almost like had his head sawed off, but that didn't happen. Yeah. And he's like climbing the rope and going to attack Elise, and she's like, "We think attack, we think attack, Elise. right, right, right." And, and then, then he picks up the rock and just starts smashing his head, pummeling himself with it, so and violent. just crack. You see the the last hit the crack, and he just falls over. But what was, does that signify? Well, I'm wondering what was he what was he doing? What is he hiding? That's what I was wondering. Is he hiding something? Is was there something that it was like okay, I can't let them know, and I had to do this? Was it like the prime director? Prime like director, like a self-destruct like, kind of thing, like don't like damage yourself enough that no one can find out what you were. Exactly. Pro- I'm wondering if someone prerogative. Out there. I was looking for the word. <laughs> what's, your, you what's, your like what's your prime directive? What's your prime directive? Right when you started. <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> We I knew it. <laughs> like, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, and then so now it's all being wrapped up, and we see William out in the west, and you hear oh. like, and the guy is so mad. He's like, you know, like, you were the one that brought us out here, and and then this he, is where Daniel's dreams and hopes were. Whoa, shattered. whoa, whoa! Before we get there, we have to talk about uh, Dolores. What happens to my oh, main right. girl, Dolores? Yes. Girl. So then we get to Dolores, and you know, she's we're doing a lot. With Dolores, she's uh, thinking back to her conversation. She says the whole thing of uh, when I uh, when I discover who I am, I'll be free. Like she gets into that whole thing with uh, him and uh, with Bernard. Yeah, and then he it says goes, just go off of improv only, and so he's asking her. Wait, like, do we also? Do I'm sorry to cut you off. No, it's mm-hmm. fine. Do we also get it in this episode where they talk about the maze, where they say? Um, no, that, that was that's that a, was a that's week for next week. <laughs> just look at the camera and smile uh, yeah no that's next week but um, they do bring that up she says that whole thing about when I discover myself uh, I will be or discover who I am I will be free which was very interesting because that when, and that's after he told her yeah. to go off script and completely only improv and that's what she came up with so that's really interesting because it's like okay she wants to leave she wants to do more, and we already know Teddy's there to keep her grounded, pretty much to have something that anchors her here. Because if Teddy wasn't there, she probably would try to leave. So that's interesting on its own. Mm-hmm. And then we get into Dolores and <clears throat> back to the gun. But yeah, there's so, so much that happens yeah, right she, there before. It's, it's the whole same thing that we've seen in, in the last in the first episode, or maybe even the, the second two. episode. Yeah, Every single time we get to this point where... There's gunfire at the house. Mm-hmm. Dolores, Dolores, and Teddy, or sometimes just Dolores, or sometimes just Teddy, go off and go figure off and, and yeah. investigate. Exactly. So in this one, we see that Dolores' father again, another guy that dies all the time. Whoever's playing the role, <laughs> yeah, is on the ground, is shot. 
she, she's trying to figure out what's going on. These guys come out and have their went their way with Dolores, kind of. So but one Rebus, of them takes her. Rebus, Rebus takes brings her, that guy back again. Yeah, takes <laughs> her to like, the barn. I told no, you but what before happened. that, this is where this is where also another change it happened was she has this kind of odd flash oh, of yeah. her previous father, Peter. When she looks uh, down at yeah. the, the current and then father, that's whenever you see her changes. not reacting oh, is yeah. and then that's whenever the guy back from town is like I don't know about this one she seems crazy <laughs> and then like then that's whenever he like the host induces like more like scare and, sh- and tries to frighten her and he starts pulling her out yeah. and like pulling her to the to the um, barn. barn pulls her so. to the barn and it's pretty much the same pull from before mm-hmm. where uh, she had the dream or the worry about the man in black uh, pulling her in, and uh, then you hear, and we know it now. You hear Bernard's voice. Remember, right. you hear Bernard's voice. Remember, pulls her in, throws her on top of the hay, and then uh, the guy's like talking to her. And automatically, we're looking like, all right, this is gonna happen. Where you're gonna see it flash into the man in black, and sure enough, it did. flashes to the man in black. Mm-hmm. So now the question is, oh, well, she kills that... yeah, she kills the guy, and yeah, then out of she comes out of the hay and has a gun in her hand. But well, before then, I'm just the question of. Did so? Did that ever really happen? Where the man in black did pull her into the barn, pull out the knife, or is this just some type of dream thing? And she's replacing like all her fears turn into this one thing. I don't know, but it's interesting because we there's there's a mystery that's standing there. It's that we don't know what the man in black did to her, or even does to her. If if he did at if all, if he does anything at all. Mm-hmm. Besides, sit her down and talk to her, or you know, maybe maybe cuts himself, or maybe cuts her. See, so like you, I don't know. I don't know. Again, don't inducing know. like this anar- uh, this survival thing because he wants the most real out of her. Like he always wants her to fight. He it's could, a fight or flight. So yeah. let me ask you guys something that happened from episode one, where I, like I said, I was called out, and they said that Dolores was raped and whatever else. Do you still think that that? Do you think that happened now? Because I still stick stand by that. I don't think. That happened. I I mean obviously like we, we both said that like um, they they don't actually let you see that he she's being raped and it right. just it alludes to that. I don't I can't say that like that didn't happen or that it did. I do think though that he is trying to promote harm to promote her to be afraid and to fight back. You think the man in black is? Yeah. Okay. And so, so like, he c- could he use like the form of like rape and like a, a going at her like that so that she is she's at her most vulnerable state so that he can get his information like like in yes, the previous could. episode oh, he you, talks okay, about that. Okay, so you're saying that this is the I okay I see what you're saying I don't agree. Mm. But no, but you see said. it, yeah, and that, I mean <clears throat> I, I get that. That's a good mm. question to ask. Uh, that's a great one to be posed. But with that. She reaches into the hay, pulls out the gun, and was it the same started... gun though that we saw? Is it the same gun? I think it was. I think there was that blackout moment for her, and during that blackout moment, she goes ahead and puts the gun inside of the hay because Bernard's voice. Remember, and he says it again before she even gets ready to fire. Remember, there's a reason why we're hearing Bernard say these things. There has to be some level of a programming that I think Bernard put inside of her. So this way. Originally, when she was, uh, she opens up, sees the gun, and then after that, she looks inside of the, uh, she looks in the mirror. That's when that programming happens, and I think we don't see it, but she blacks out, and when she blacks out, that's when we're seeing that dream. But when she blacked out, it was her taking the gun, putting it inside the barn, coming right back to the mirror, and then waking up out of it. And when she woke up out of it, the gun's not there, and she just goes back and puts the uh, puts that other material back in there, closes the drawer, and moves on. So what you're saying is that it's possible that we're not seeing linear storytelling told right. here in I Westworld. Right, I can see that. Well, in some points, okay. in some points, I think, uh, and it, it would be great because it's it's not taking the fans or the audience intelligence for granted and saying, well, you guys can get it. I also think something that's kind of been a predominant thing is when Maeve has her flashbacks and mm-hmm. it's like this, the, you, the savages or the brave is coming in and then when it actually enters the room, it's the man in black and he's coming to like scalp her and he wants information we out think. of her. That's um, right. Well, for her nightmare, it's what right. it shows. Right. Then the same thing happens to now to Dolores, to Dolores and he's like, I need to, let's start from the beginning and he has his scalping knife mm-hmm. and he's approaching her and it's like the same thing of like. Maybe this is what's happening to Teddy. For next week, we, so? we're gonna find out, and it's just like uh, if he had the flash of the man in black when all the all the all the natives, anarchy and things are happening. Yeah, I, I, don't know. I, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now Dolores shoots the man, and she and she comes out, and um, one of the other hosts shoots her. Or says, hey, you, or whatever. And hey, then shoots you. her. And, then, and well, she looks down, other, and she yeah. wasn't shot. And then she looks up again, and then he's like, hey, he you. Loops right over Yeah, again. and then she runs off. She runs off, gets on the horse, rides off, and then ruins my whole theory. And <laughs> rides right over to uh, William, who catches her. William and, and Logan. Yeah, yeah. Catches her, holds her, looks at her, and we end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and right there leaves us with so much. And with that so much, I think we should go right in well, to bef- the crackpot theory. Before we do that, I got a question. What did we get answered in this episode? That my theory was wrong? Your theory was wrong. That's, <laughs> that is 100% true That's now. it. I mean, that's, that's um, what we got. We also, got, it, we also get to see uh, how Teddy perceives, how Teddy's vision of this world still kind of is. Well, he's we, still a, he's we still a good... Uh, host. An uninfected host. Uninfested, uh, we got yeah. Teddy, Teddy's back backstory. I mean, that's a question people didn't have. What's Teddy's backstory? We also Go. know. We also know now that Bernard is playing a deeper game with with uh, Dolores, Dolores. which might actually be playing a deeper game with a lot of other hosts that we don't know about yet. Yeah. We also got the answer of Arnold, which we didn't even know was a question. We didn't know was a question. <laughs> um, so so that was a that's that's something that happened in this episode and. Um, I also think now we're also showing um, with Elise, she touched on it and answered yeah. it, that now that it's not just like logging back um, prior uh, hosts, like prior times characters that they were, but like now they're actually having these memories and pulling them out and they're, ha- they're formulating ideas. Like now they're going from their conscious to having like grudges and yeah. then like formulating these ideas to move off onto something else. Yeah, like hosts, we also now know that hosts do have memories of mm-hmm. the past, which I think is going to be a huge of importance obviously going forward. Oh, yeah. Now, what questions do we have going into the next week's episode? The next one. Like cool. there's there's who's Arnold? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's um what happened what's going to happen with Teddy? Who are these who are these Braves? Yeah, that uh, apparently can't be hurt. But what what happened? Something? What was the stray hiding? Why did he bash his why, head? Why did he in? bash his head in? Uh, how does how does Ford know about? Um, well, Ford obviously knew about the daughter, but how how is it like Ford's knowing so much information about, about the Bernard? Son. The son yeah, about the son. Yeah. Did I say daughter? You yeah, did. You, did. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Um, what else is there? There's there's a ton of questions that we still need to get answered. And, and yeah, and it just keeps adding on more. I mean, you just went over the questions of what we got for now. It, it's just too many. Yeah. Now I think. Go ahead. Well, now would be the time where, along with those questions, we have ideas and we think we have some answers, so Crackpot Theories. A new Crackpot Theories. All right, so with Crackpot Theories, unfortunately, mine was debunked. I was going to premiere it tonight. <laughs> negative so, one point for Daniel. We neg- would like you neg- to watch the first episode of Friends and give us a report back. Right? Okay, You agree, Friends, fine. or you want to choose something else? Fine. Uh, By the way, you, if like you guys... Friends? Oh, no, no, I, I, I do. Oh, give, uh, him I don't give him something else. Give him one else. of the things you watch. Uh, oh, my God. King of, oh, you know King of Queens. I was going to say that. I, I, I know, but I'm not <gasps> Oh, I know. A good okay, one. Sorry, that may have been too loud. No, no, go. Please watch Scream Queens. Okay, I've been looking. No, to, okay, darn it. I, I thought watch. I was gonna get you. No, 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 no. I've been okay. looking to watch it. I have okay. it. So right, I'll watch first okay. episode. Of this is how it works. <laughs> Next week we want to. Her and I want a full report on the first episode. Yeah, this is how it works. So if there is a theory that we had and unfortunately it gets debunked, well then that that panelist has to go ahead and watch a show of of our choosing their choosing and come back and give them like a little book report of it <laughs> so uh, that's what I'll be doing so and we'll, say this study week, we'll say this week Mavic is hunting, handing out the punishment yeah exactly okay. next week I'll next be week handing you'll it be out handing, so really unless hoping. you're really hoping that mine I'm hoping mine doesn't happen until the end since yeah. I don't really have a crackpot theory I'll be seeing my crackpot theory time to Maverick hopefully she has two I, I'm so glad because I do I have two and so um, one it happened to me while we were watching the show, and the other one, I think we both had the light bulb effect know, at the I same time. I know what it was. Oh no! So that's why I wrote it down. I know. Um, so my first Here crackpot goes. theory was is because he said that um, Arnold died within within Westworld, and um, he was a race like such and such happened, and like so this was so long ago. My thought process almost was, or maybe he didn't actually die. Like, and maybe. Arnold is the man in black. It's that was theory. my well, that was my thought process first. Was that and mm-hmm. like and and like again, he's been in the game for so long. And um, but but that part almost is like I can almost 
answer my own question where it's like, but then he would know the all the secrets and everything like that. No, he like wouldn't that. know, but not necessarily about the maze, though. Maybe. I mean, it just seems like he's been there since the... I don't know. But that, So that's like what I'm going towards right now. But then that other one that I had as we were talking it out and talking it through was right. that, which would be like would almost completely annihilate my first crack by theory, is that what if Ford is Arnold? And maybe like there was some like vicious thing where like they like he took over his eyes he took over his identity um you know like sometimes uh what movie was that identity no talented mr ripley kind of no um where the they killed they killed the guy the actor killed the guy and he assumed his identity face off stop wait let her finish face off that's a show it's a movie oh i don't i don't know i don't know I don't, like, think, like, I don't think that's that it. Nicholas Cage. I don't think that's it. Are you going to let her finish? <laughs> I, I, but that's, so my thought is like maybe he, like in Westworld, there was a fight. There was like something weird and like Ford and him didn't see eye to eye and, or he found out he was getting cut off. And I, I don't know, like maybe like he's assumed that something weird came about and like a previous movie like linked me into this thought of like, what if Ford is actually Arnold mm-hmm. and he like has just like really killed Ford or something like that somewhere and like. I will say I'm really happy that you have both of these theories because no matter what, you're going to be wrong. <laughs> like, it's going to be wrong because oh, you're yeah, going to yeah, have yeah. both of yeah, them yeah, be right. Yeah, I know. So you're for sure going to be end up watching something of our choosing. Mm. Uh, I have a But theory. not until probably the end of it. Probably until the end of it. Uh-huh. I do have a theory. What if the man in black is actually an avatar of... Um, of... Uh, yep. Of Arnold? Oh, no, not no. Arnold. Uh, Bernard. What if he's a programmed his own avatar yeah, 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 yeah. to be the man in black? And that's his form of like getting people to unlock. Because obviously, or f- there's another theory I have too. So it, he, he's trying to get like uh, this whole community of, of hosts to live, um, uh, live with a conscience. Mm-hmm. So what if that's his avatar? The other one is what if Arnold is the man in black, which I kind of could happen. And there's almost like a Westworld civil war where there's already people in the inside working for Arnold that are part of that believed in what Arnold was doing by wanting to give them a conscience. Okay. And, and this is part of what we're seeing. And this is part of what we're seeing. So now we know Bernard would be a kind of on that side. Right. We also know it seems that um, that uh, Helmsworth, he would kind of know. Stubbs. Really? I think Stubbs might know a little bit. About about what's going Stubbs on. Stubbs is always Stubbs is waiting for a rebellion. Listen, this so ties into what you said. This ties into what you said, Daniel. Is when they looked at, when Stubbs did look, he could have said, "Oh, that guy can do whatever he wants." Maybe he's because he's a part of the. In, that the wasn't plan. Stubbs that said that. Stubbs, Stubbs was the one. He, I, uh, I thought it pays, was that the... guy pays. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was. I was thinking it was so the other dude. What if the, this? These there's certain people. Maybe even the script writer. Remember the script writer when he was like Sizemore. Sizemore. That's when he was like, "There's there's there's people here that would like to see you take over." What if this is all a part of like a plan from Arnold to get Westworld back to what he would envision it to be? Ooh, ooh, that's right, ooh, guys. That's a good one. Oh. You don't like it? I do. Man, thanks, guys. Hundred points for Gryffindor and a hundred point. No, we're both Slytherin. Aren't you Slytherin? No, I never oh, took that test. Me and Puff, Jessica are Slytherin. She'd be Hufflepuff. You'd be Slytherin. I am Slytherin. I took the test. Yeah, me and Jessica yeah, are both exactly. Slytherin. So. Good job. 100 points for both. Uh, I loved it. Do I get 200 because <laughs> I had two theories? Ooh, no, yeah. that's not fair. <laughs> and if they're both wrong, you're going to watch two different TV series that you're going to hate. So. But the I good thing is it doesn't matter because I'll need something to watch whenever this is all over. Because that's it's when my theory the will be broke. <laughs> what if it's answered in the next episode? Probably. That would be interesting. You know what you could watch, though? You can do the same thing that the fans are doing, which is watch this show. Subscribe to it so this way you can actually watch the show. And make sure you turn those, uh, well trigger fingers into Twitter fingers and use the hashtag bullets and milk to make sure that you're able to keep the conversation going. Let us know what you guys thought. Hit us up in the comments. Uh, we'll be talking to you guys a whole week anyway, because at least I know I will. I don't know about these two, but <laughs> at least I will. They're too busy watching. Again. Yeah. So uh, from uh, us here uh, at Meltdown, uh, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. Bang, bang, go, go. Cool. Cool. <laughs>